What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, folks, how you doing today? You see the face? You know what it is? It's Mr. Warmack back in the building again. And today, I had to see, uh, here's how serious I am about these videos now. I had to drop somebody because he started trying to extort me. See, here we go. Yeah, that's how serious it is. I gotta get, get, had to get rid of good luck there because he was uh, one of the little cut of the business. I was like, mm, he got me effed up, bro. You know how you get a little shine on these niggas. Well, today we're going to talk about black people, the forever victims. And have you noticed this? Uh, it's getting worse and worse on YouTube with these forever victims. No, nothing they can do is we're always victims. Oh, no. It's always somebody else's fault. And I, it, to me and a lot of other black folks, we're getting sick and tired of it. And there's a lot of people stand funny and thank you that are standing up. And if you, because if you notice, a lot of these people has, have done something wrong in their lives. And they screwed their life up. And they're continually screwing their life up. And, now, and, then, and they wonder why something's getting held against them. But it's, it's their own actions. Because then they get the story about, well, we've been here for 400 years and this, that, and the third, we've been conditioned. No, if you haven't been conditioned to have common sense in 400 years, whose fault's that, dummy? It's your fault. But you want to be a forever victim. Woo! You know, they, they, they give you all sorts of excuses why they can't do this, why they can't do that. Just tell them to, tell them to get together and open up a business. All the white men won't let me. Meanwhile, there's businesses opening up by black folks getting loans from the bank. If you can't get credit, work. Here's what you do. I'm going to give you the shortcut to do it. And they'll tell you not to do it this way, but there's a reason why I tell you not to do it this way. You go to work, get yourself a 401k, sock the money, sock some money away. And then when the 401k gets to maybe yeah, 25, 30, 50,000, take borrow against it. Start your business. Now they'll tell you not to do that. And, and why they tell you not to do that? It's common sense because they want to keep your money in the, in the, in the fund. And they'll tell you, well, you're going to lose money if you do that. Well, hell, if you went in a great recession, you lost 20, <coughs> excuse me, you lost 20% of your 401k anyway. What's, what's the difference? A recession hits or the fact that you took the money out and you did it yourself? I'd rather bet on myself than bet on anybody else. No. These forever victims don't seem like that. Because they're, they're like, if you look at Facebook, they, all they want to do is show off their little stacks of ones. They're all dirty ass models. They're all this or that. But at the end of the day, they're making groups on Facebook and not getting anything from it. Facebook gets a lot from it, but they don't. And that's why they're, to me, they're stupid. I would not be making groups on Facebook without not getting a cut. Or you got all these groups on Facebook and you're not making connects anywhere off of this. But that's the problem. We have these forever victims looking for excuses. And I sit there and look at the moves they're making and they're just making. Dumb moves or effed up moves, they are. But they won't blame somebody else. That's like if you're a success in this community. A lot of people say, oh, it's the Illuminati. Well, first of all, I, I know you're you're stupid in that respect, too, because it's not the Illuminati. I'll let you figure it out. I'll let you do the research. I'll let you get the book and read. It's not the Illuminati. The Illuminati, the Illuminati is the second string. Go find out who the first string is on your, before we do anything. But now... I want to come to a second part about these forever victims. Uh, you ever notice if you if you talk something that's true about the black community, especially if you're if they're white, they call these white people racist. Like people will say, well, there's no such thing as black on black crime. Well, how well, where do you get this one from? Because there is. I mean, you can't call black people out on anything without them crying. You're racist, and here comes these people right here. These, this group of, group of followers right here, the old black DNC parrots. They parrot anything that the DNC tells. Here they go. I made a video about these people before. They parrot anything the DNC says to tell them. Like the big deal now is they'll say, well, Donald Trump's racist. And they come to me with that. I'm like, well, how is he racist? Well, you know. Well, no, I don't know. I don't know the guy like that. I ain't like I ate at his table. The guy's racist. The guy employs blacks in his businesses. Well, he wants to build a wall in Mexico. I mean, in the United States, to get the Mexicans out. Let me explain something to you Neanderthals. 
to you guys that didn't get the GED newsletter yet. Mexico is a separate country. George Bush. Obama talked about it. Bush Sr. talked about it. Clinton talked about it. Reagan, not in detail, but he was talking about it. They all talked about some type of structure, some type of immigration, you know, restructuring. This isn't new. Mexico is a separate country. If they're doing that, it's called nationalism. I didn't see, I didn't see Trump saying keeping the black folks out. He doesn't want the Mexicans to come in. Now, granted, some of his companies probably employ Mexicans that are on the table. I'm not saying that. But the point is, you guys don't know the difference between racism and prejudice, and when they're not being racist, and we're not being prejudiced. But if you call a black person that long, you're racist. And, and, and these white people start feeling guilty, which I don't know why, because I'm like, call me out. Okay, but what, 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 you think I'm, what makes you think that so and so is racist? I'll give, you, I'll give you a prime example. Trump was in the southwestern Pennsylvania. People didn't go to the rally to say, oh, he's racist. Well, wouldn't that be the best time to go to the rally to ask questions about that? But you see, people were too okie doke by the DNC, but they, 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 they let them, DNC, dictate their life for them. And like I tell these parents, let me tell you what the Democratic Party represent, represented. The Ku Klux Klan in their peak. They represent uh, what, what you, the abortion clinics, Planned Parenthood. They represented, like I said, the Klan during, I'm talking the Klan during the peak. They represented the slave owners and the slave chips. You know, Jesus and all that, they represent you, you singing We Shall Overcome and all that. That's still on the slave ships. The DNC got you going. The fact that remains is black people need to quit quit giving away their their their, their love so quickly. Like, like, like they call black Republicans sellouts. You wanna know why we're sellouts? Because we're not we're not giving to you communists. That's all you are. Then, then you guys have the balls to say, Well, you won't cut no discounts at your business. Does McDonald's go cut you a discount? When you, you can buy a million uh, burgers at the, at the restaurant. They still don't give you a discount. The fact remains is you need to study business. You need to study interactions with other people. You need to study language. You need to study the use of the language. You need to study how to interact with people in general. Because you, a lot of your skills suck. But then again, it, it pays to be a forever victim. You know, because you know why? A forever victim has no accountability. You can run around and say, well, you're just racist, and then, then agree with the, all the other parents and say, well, he is really racist. Then you ask them, well, why are they racist? Oh, well, that's what so-and-so said. Well, yeah, but why is he racist? Oh, that's what so-and-so said. I know so-and-so told you he was racist, but why is he racist? Give me an example. Well, you're, you're a sellout. Well, hold on, whoa. how am I a sellout? Because of questions that you have no answer to? I mean, it's just that we, and then, then you got people that so-called want to lead you. Let me give you a little example, people. And this should be, this, this should tip you off. This should come off the top of your head. If they're living at home with their mother and, and father, and they're their age of 50s and up, the only way they're going to lead you is to hell. Because if they can't, if they can't live on their own at that age, what makes you think that they're going to show you how to do it? But if you want, you can't follow it. That's why I don't give a lot of people on YouTube credit. I mean, I give you credit for making your videos, and that's about it. But the rest of it is like, you listen to their videos, it's like they talk around in circles. It's like a lot, a lot of these people are confused. And you can see, and you can listen to them in their message. Because one day they'll talk about this, then the next day they'll backtrack and talk about something else. And some people do it in the same video. But at the end of the day, it's just, you know, I don't, that's why I don't get stressed out on YouTube. Because I don't get mad about people. Because as you can see right here, I'm sitting around here minding my business. I'll have a couple of ladies come over. We'll just have fun. Talk about the topics. And, you know, we'll just do what grown folks do. Call me what you want to call me. But, you know, I, I work. Kids get taken care of. When's the last time? You, and, and long, you can't pay your $95 child support for eight kids. But I don't want to sell out. Pay, if you can pay for your kids and hold a roof over your head, then maybe you can say something. But like I said, until then, just keep being a forever victim. Ooh, boo -hoo. Get out of here. Come on, man. We can do better than this. No, we're going to have to do better than this, or a lot of you guys are going to be living in FEMA tents. So pick your color out right now. All right? I'm out of here. And on pretty picture, I want to say...